Hi everyone, welcome to How Fix It. In this video guide, I'm going to show you how to disassemble Xbox Series X, clean it from dust, and replace thermal grease. This will help prevent overheating of your game console. To disassemble Xbox Series X, you will need the following tools. Torx T8 screwdriver, anti-static tweezers, plastic opening tools, anti-static brush, thermal paste. I also recommend using a magnetic mat and laying out each screw step by step during the disassembly process. Throughout this repair, keep track of each screw and make sure it goes back exactly where it came from to avoid damaging your Xbox. Thanks to the magnetic base, the screws stay on the mat and you will not lose them. In the description, I left links where you can buy all the necessary repair tools. Also in the description, you can find a link to a video where I show you how to repair a water damaged Xbox controller. I hope your gamepad is okay, but if that happens, you will know what to do in that case. Let's begin disassembling the Xbox. Turn over the game console and remove the two stickers on the back panel. Below these stickers are two screws that hold the back cover. Using a plastic tool, pry up the back cover at the bottom of the game console housing. Use a Torx T8 screwdriver to remove the three screws securing the fan. Also disconnect the fan cable. Remove the fan by lifting it up. Remove dust from inside the gaming console housing. We'll return to a detailed cleaning of the fan a little later. Now you need two tweezers to remove the base cover. The base cover is held by the inner lock. To open it, slide and hold the plastic latch inside the case. At the same time, insert sharp tweezers into the special hole in the bottom cover and turn it counterclockwise. Remove the following four screws at the base of the housing. Remove another screw and remove the plastic panel. Disconnect the two cables and lift up the optical drive. Now disconnect these two ribbon cables. Gently open the metal lock and lift up the ribbon cable. The second ribbon cable is disconnected in another way. Press on the metal lock and pull up the ribbon cable. Slide the chassis to the right and lift up. Now you can remove all dust from the housing. If you have a long-haired dog or cat in your house and the game console is on the floor, most likely the game console will grab all dust and hair like a vacuum cleaner. The Xbox Series X has a cooling system that is difficult to clog with dust, but as you see, it is possible. So let's return to cleaning the fan from dust.
Let's move on to cleaning the heatsink. Remove dust from the heatsink grills and from the ventilation grills of the power supply. At this step, you have cleaned the dust from the cooling system of the Xbox. You can begin reassembling the game console by timecode, or continue disassembling and replacing the thermal grease. Over time, thermal paste dries up and loses its heat transfer properties. Replacing the thermal paste improves heat transfer from the GPU to the heat sink, due to which the Xbox cooling system will work more efficiently. Grip the board and pull it up directly away from the chassis to disconnect it. Remove the rest of the screws and remove the metal cover. Disconnect the 10-pin power connector from the board. The connector has a locking tab. By pressing the latch, you can lift up the connector. Disconnect the 2-pin power connector in the same way. You can now remove the power supply. Grip the base of the cable connector with your fingers. Press each side of the connector to unlock the cable locking tabs. Remove three screws and disconnect the board with the Wi-Fi module. To disconnect, grip the board and pull it directly away from the main board. Now let's move on to removing the metal panel. The metal panel has clamps on the edges. Carefully bend these metal clamps on each side. If you work with a sharp tool, be extremely careful. You can accidentally scratch the motherboard, so I recommend using a plastic tool.
bend the clamps back to lock securely on the board when reassembling the Xbox. Please note, these four screws should be loosened evenly, with three turns on each side. If you remove screws right away, there is a high risk of damaging the GPU chip. Be careful not to damage the thermal pads in this process. They should not come in contact with the work surface. You can place the fan under the board to keep them clean and reusable. Remove the old thermal grease from the surface of the heatsink in GPU chip. If the thermal paste is very dry and does not rub off well, use isopropyl alcohol. Apply new thermal grease to the GPU and spread it evenly over the entire surface. Place a motherboard on the heatsink and start reassembling the Xbox. Now very important stage of the assembly. The screws on the metal bracket must be tightened while maintaining even pressure on the GPU chip. Tighten the screws evenly, two or three turns per screw in sequential order.
that's all. Xbox Series X is assembled and ready to use. I really appreciate you watching my video guide. If you have any questions, please leave them below. You are on How Fix It, and see you guys next time.